Time Camp Tutorial for Beginners. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Time Camp. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is to open your browser and kindly go to timecamp.com. And if you haven't signed up for Time Camp yet, you can check the video description below for a special discount link. But before that, if you don't know Time Camp, it is a time tracking software design to help individuals and businesses efficiently manage their time, track work hours, and monitor productivity, in which this platform offers various features such as automatic time tracking, timesheets, project and task management, invoicing, reporting, and integrations with other tools. And on this platform, users can track time spent on tasks and projects manually or automatically through desktop applications, mobile apps, or browser extensions. And also, it provides detailed insights into how time is allocated across different activities, allowing users to analyze productivity. And now, to access this platform, they also offer a variety of plan that you're gonna build by simply clicking this pricing option on the top panel. You will be directed on this page, and from here, it will show you the plan such as free plan, starter, premium, and ultimate plan, and you will see the corresponding prices and the list of benefits it included on each plan below. But in those options, I'm going to choose the free plan. So can I click on it, then you will be directed on this page. And from here, to sign up, all you need to do is to enter your email address or your password. And after that, you will be directed on this dashboard of time comp. And you can start navigating some of the options on the left side panel. We have your timesheet, expense, dashboard, reports, projects, and any other option that you can start navigating. Now let's start first in this timesheet, in which from here it will allow you to track time spent on projects, create and edit time entries, and optionally add notes or tags for better categorization. And as you can see from here, you can use timesheet for a specific day, week, and from here you can start selecting task and project first. To fill out your time. While under this calendar from here you could also select a specific date with a specific time. And beside the calendar option you will also see this people icon by simply clicking on it. From here you can simply track your employee attendance by simply searching on this search bar. And also by clicking these three dots it will enable you to choose when timer is started for existing time entry. So basically this timesheet feature in time comp can be used for personal and professional purposes. Now moving on to the other option, which is the expenses. So basically from here, it will allow you to track and manage project-related costs in a connected way. Since this feature provides a detailed view of all related expenses, not just the time spent on a project. And if you want to start adding your expenses, just click this button, plus add your first expense button. And upon clicking on it, it will show you a pop-up window, and from here, all you need to do is to fill out all of the required information, then just click the save button in order to add your first expenses. And as you can see, you can even add your file or attachment in here. Now moving on to the other option is this reports option. In which from here, you will be able to add your time reports, your people reports, and budgeting reports. So basically, this option Reports provides a powerful and versatile solution for time reporting and project management, in which, as you can see, it will allow users to gain real-time insights into their team performance, work progress, and project status or budget. And by utilizing TimeComp's comprehensive reporting tools and features, users can create automated reports using real-time data, ensuring that their time tracking reporting is both accurate and up-to-date. And since this platform offers a variety of report formats and customizable reporting dashboards, it will enable users to tailor their time reporting system to their specific needs. Now moving on to the other option is this computer activities, in which by clicking this option, it will allow user to monitor computer activity, including the time spent on various applications and website. So as you can see, you can start navigating the away time, sites and apps, activity categories, timeline, goals, efficiency, and user statistics. Now moving on to this projects option, 
From here, it will allow you to create and manage projects which have a tree structure and contain lists of tasks. And from here, you'll basically see here the list of your project that has been created. And also from here, you can create projects manually or import them from CSP files or other integrated programs. Now moving on to the tags option, from here you can basically add a tag list in which is used to organize track time, task, and projects using keywords or labels. And from here, users can create their own list with an unlimited number of tags inside and assign them to task, projects, or time entries. Now moving on to the billing rates option on the left side panel, from here, it will allow you to set up individual values for created rates for specific groups, users, or projects. And you can customize the general and specific rates, in which it will allow you to create customized billing rates for ensuring flexibility in their billing process. While under the Users option on the left side panel, you can invite people in here by simply entering their email address and click Send Invites button below here. And aside from that, you can also navigate here the attendance option on this left side panel. You will see here a comprehensive attendance management system that enables you to track employee punctuality, leaves, and absences, in which it provides features such as clock in and clock out hours, automatic attendance tracking, and free attendance app for employees to record their attendance, breaks, and time off. And now that we know some of the options on the left side panel, in their functionality, we can now start creating our projects by clicking this project option on the left side panel. To create a new project, just click this plus new project button in here. And after that, below here, all you need to do is to enter your project name. So for instance, I'm going to enter here project 1. Then click create new project button. And after that, it will show you that project has now been created. And if you want to add tasks, just click this plus button right here and it will show you on the right side panel that you can start customizing the task name, add the description of it, and even input a specific budget or estimated fee. And you can even add a tag list in here if you want to enable the keyword. And of course, you could also assign a people on this task. And aside from that, by clicking this pie graph icon right here, you will be directed on this page in which from here, it will show you the cumulative hours, overtime per specific date, month, and even week. Now going back in here, if you also want to customize your project, by click these three dots, it will enable you to change color, duplicate the project, to delete this project, or even to move to archive. And aside from that, if you're looking for a specific project, you could use the search bar on the top panel, or also use this filter option. By clicking on it, it will show you your task or all the tasks that you've been created. And aside from this option, if you also want to invite some other people, you'd also use on the left side panel option, or alternatively, you can simply click this icon right here, and it will show you a pop-up window. And all you need to do is to enter their email address and click Send Invites button below. On the other hand, by clicking this icon, it will show you your integration, marketplace, plugins in mobile apps, and also to download the desktop app of this time comp. So that is just basically how you can use time comp. Thank you.